All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we want to try something different. Myself and one of my closest friends had a heated discussion about the Cassie and Diddy lawsuit. I wasn't on Diddy's side, but I wasn't on Cassie's side, neither. You know, I didn't know all the facts. I knew some of the facts. So I decided today to go research the facts, and we're going to research it together. And I, I really want to hear your opinion in the comment section. This is one of those videos where I'm going to be active with my response and my replies to what you say in the comment section because I want to know how you feel about this. Cassie Sue Diddy in federal court on November 16th accusing the hip-hop mainstay of rape and a decade-long pattern of abuse that began when she was 19 years old. The R&B singer, who was once signed to Diddy's label, Bad Boy Records, alleges sex trafficking, human trafficking, sexual battery, sexual assault, and gender-motivated violence, among other causes of action. The filing claims his controlling behavior started when she met him in 2005. After she signed a deal with Diddy's record label the following year, he allegedly exerted complete control over her life, including her apartment, car, clothing, and even her medical records, to keep her under his thumb. According to the lawsuit, he went so far as targeting rapper Kid Cudi, who briefly dated Cassie in 2011 during a rough passion Diddy and Cassie's relationships, she alleges. Just one day after Cassie filed a lawsuit, she settled with Diddy out of court. Below everything to know about the lawsuit, the settlement, and the music industry's response. You have to be careful when you get in these relationships with people that are providing a little too much for you. If you yourself can't maintain the lifestyle that you're living and you have to depend on somebody for that lifestyle, you are walking into a f***ed up situation. What was Diddy accused of in the lawsuit? The lawsuit alleges several instances of abuse committed by Diddy, including rape, battery, and forced sex act with male sex workers. In the filing, Cassie depicts the mogul, head of her former label and then romantic partner as a textbook abuser. Luring her into what she first perceived as a fatherly protective relationship, only to find herself in an unequal and violent sexual relationship. Diddy successfully kept her under his thumb through his alleged intimidation tactics, which consisted of blowing up a man's car, dangling a friend over a 17th floor balcony, and asking her to carry his gun in her purse. She never went to the police out of fear that it would merely give Mr. Combs another excuse to hurt her. Diddy denied the allegations. Cassie, Miss Cassandra Ventura, was held by Mr. Combs and endured over a decade of his violent behavior and disturbed demands. The lawsuit reads, From Miss Ventura, Ms. Ventura to dark times with those she spent trapped by Mr. Combs in a cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. Diddy first expressed romantic interest in Cassie in 2016. The lawsuit claims when his makeup artist mentioned that he was interested, soon after the younger star is said to have been drawn into his jet-setting, drug fuel lifestyle. According to the suit, Cassie suffered memory loss from copious substance abuse use and suicidal Upstairs, Santana. You were supposed to follow me down here. Go upstairs. Hi, this is the video in the comment. We want you to meet us in the video. So you are coming to our mood. On that. On okay, that book. Go get your book. Go get your book and read. I'm reading right now. See me reading? No. I'm coming, Sekam. I need to talk to your father real quick. What's up? No, I'll meet you upstairs. No, they can go upstairs right now. Okay. What happened? Thank you for everything today. You're welcome. <clears throat> I, I I forgot where I was at. Copious uh, amount. Okay, copious substance use and suicidal ideation. Ideation? What the fuck is it? During her relationship with Diddy. Okay. The court papers cite an instance in which MRI results went directly to Diddy. The suit named Diddy, whose real name is Sean Combs, 
and his associated business entities, Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, Epic Records, Combs Enterprises, and DOE Corps. I'm not Doe Corps. I'm not sure what that is. Pointing to a widespread complicity in allegations. Cassie sought an unspecified amount of compensatory damages. <clears throat> Elsewhere in the filing, Cassie alleged Diddy forced her to take part in freak offs or an arrangement in which she had no choice but to plan and engage in sex acts with male sex workers while he masturbated. The encounters continued for years in high-end hotels across the country and sometimes occurred as often as once a week, the lawsuit read. God damn. That's probably why he settled. I honestly feel as though the reason Diddy settled was because he don't want to get exposed. Like, this is exposing enough, but... I feel as though, like, she would really have came out and said, yo, he be, you know, he a bottom. <laughs> Cassie was finna come out and say, Diddy a bottom, man. I feel as though she was being nice by saying she was the one having sexual relations with them, them workers, boy. Because <laughs> if he out there hiring them boys to come bang Cassie, I'm pretty sure he was hiring them boys to come bang him too. Let's just let's just be honest. Let's just call a spade a spade. Let's just call a spade a spade now. Woo! 2023 is the year of exposing the freaks. First Dwight, now Diddy. Now they I ain't gonna lie, they've been exposed. They've been saying Diddy was, you know, walking across the street, but whoo! <laughs> Diddy took photos and filmed the encounters. Cassie would delete videos shot on her phone to no avail when she was forced to watch footage on a flight that she thought she had gotten rid of. Following an FO in 2016, he allegedly paid a hotel $50,000 to erase hallway surveillance footage of an intoxicated Diddy throwing glass vases at Cassie when she tried to escape after he gave her a black eye. She would take copious amounts of drugs to disassociate during these horrific encounters, including ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and alcohol in excessive amounts. The excessive substance use led to addiction, Cassie said. I feel bad for Cassie. Now that I read, now that I, like I'm reading this, I, I feel bad for Cassie because when me and my boy was talking about it, I was arguing, bro. I was going in. You know, I bought a Bill Cosby. Um, I brought up the R. Kelly situation. You feel me? I, I did. I, I brought up the R. Kelly situation. Kells was a monster. Don't, don't sleep. Kells was a monster. Kells, Kells deserved to be where he at. I don't know, bro. I just don't see how people let other people manipulate them into these type of relationships. 